In this video, we'll cover shape layers and how to tweak your animation with the valley graph to create a circular pattern effect. And remember that life is truly a gift. Make it count. Let's deselect all the layers in our timeline. Click in this empty area to deselect. Now head over to the shape tool and select the ellipse tool and double click to create an ellipse right in the center of our comp. Go to the fill. Let's set it to none and let's go to the stroke. Let's give it a color of white and for the stroke width, give it a value of eight pixels. Go down to the timeline, select the shape layer. Let's rename it to circle. Let's solo this layer. Move your CTI to the beginning and let's zoom in on the timeline. Now go to ellipse one, drill down, go to ellipse path and let's drill down, go to size and let's unlink it and let's make this 500 by 500 pixels to make it a perfect circle. Let's link it back and now let's animate the size of this circle. Let's click on the stopwatch to add the first keyframe. Let's jump to 1005, let's add another keyframe, jump to 1020, add a keyframe, and add 11, let's add a keyframe. Now this last keyframe, let's make it zero for the size, and the same thing for the very first keyframe, zero for the size, and let's check it out. Very basic. Now we'll work on it. But before we do anything else, let's add more circles. So between 10.05 and 10.20, we'll add circles. Let's go to 10.05. Let's select ellipse path and go to add. And let's add offset path. Let's drill down and let's go to copies. Let's add three copies. And what we'll do is we'll animate the amount property. Click on the stopwatch. Let's make this zero. Move the CTI to 1012. Make it 100. And move the CTI to 1020. And let's make this zero. Let's check this out. Very basic, but we'll work on it. We'll improve on this. What we'll do is select all the keyframes, F9 for easy ease. And now let's jump into the graph editor. Click on this icon to jump into the graph editor. And let's make sure that we're in the valley graph. And this is the curve for the size. And this is a curve for the circles. So for the size, what we'll do is select the first keyframe. Let's move this handle. Hold on to shift so we can move this handle horizontally. And this one, let's make this linear. Let's do the same thing for the back end, let's make it symmetrical. Let's move this, perfect. Now let's go to offset path to the amount. And what we'll do is select this middle keyframe and let's give it some hang time. So let's move these handles like this. Let's make this one linear and this one linear. Now let's check it out, amigos. You can see that it's a huge difference and improvement over what we had a minute ago, and this was simply using the value graph. Okay, let's go back to the timeline. What we'll do is let's trim this layer right here at 11, Alt right bracket to trim. Let's unsolo this layer and let's move the CTI to 1417 when the dancer places his hand on the road and move this layer right here at 1417. Let's drag it beneath the rotor brush layer and let's activate the 3D switch to place it in 3D space. Now let's go to the footage layer, go to the effect controls window, select the camera tracker effect. And what we'll do now is let's go ahead and generate a new target. Let's right click and let's create a null. Now let's go to the null hit P for the position property, and let's copy the position values. Select the position, control C, 
or Command-C if you're using an Apple computer. Let's go down to the circle, hit P for the position property. Let's select it, Control-V or Command-V to paste it. And now what we can do is let's scale it up. S for scale, let's make it 450 and hit R for rotation. Go to the X rotation. Let's make this minus 90. And for the Y rotation, let's fix it. Let's make it 12. And now let's go to the position property. Let's move this back right here towards the hand. And let's check it out. Perfect. Let's add a glow. So let's go to the text. Let's copy the glow effect. Control C, Command C. And let's go to the circle. Control V or Command V to paste it and simply adjust the colors. Let's go to color A and let's make it yellow. And this looks pretty cool. We'll leave it like this. Let's go to the circle one more time. Let's change the blending mode to lighten and let's check it out.